Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm so shocked to see her do her thing. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Spy Family episode 33, The Symphony Upon the Ship. Last episode, what happened last episode? Um, assassins, well, <laughs> keeps attacking. Um, she defeated the scythe person. <laughs> And yeah, help with that, making the um, spectators think that it was a circus act. Um, they discovered the room and now they were moving. They moved to another room, but then they were like, they need, what was about to happen? There was, there was going to be some fireworks. And then the, um, the assassins on the boat are sort of like waiting on them, whatever, for the fireworks. Anya and Lloyd are also going to the fireworks. And I feel like this, this is supposed to be the trade off happening in like a couple of hours or something or other like that. I don't know. Basically, a lot of stuff is going to be happening at this fireworks. So, yeah. That's what happened last episode. <laughs> I feel like I don't quite remember exactly everything, but either way. Before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and, uh, Please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash feelmini and I'll start this episode and here we go. <laughs> oh no. These two brother and sisters relationship is so adorable. I love how I love how you're sort of like this sweet, kind person, but then she has this other persona where she's going to kill you with just a flick of her finger. And I'm like, how do you reconcile the two? You know, I was thinking this episode when she started fighting those assassins and everything that... We've known since this show started that she's an incredible assassin, right? But it's not like we see her in action. We see her, okay, this is my, um, what's the term? My target, you know, this, uh, this, uh, it's my pleasure to kill you today or whatever it is that she says. And then you see the aftermath. You don't actually see her in the process of killing people. This episode shows that, like, she was surrounded by all these assassins. And yes, the director showed up and helped, but it was mostly her. And you see, like, how the heck can you, like, crush a knife with just your fingers? Like, I'm just wondering where her strength comes from. It almost seems supernatural, but then it's anime, so it's like... <laughs> it goes with the territory. You don't think about it anymore. You just wonder, oh, this person is super strong. But it's like when you see her in action, like dealing with all these assassins, it's like your mind is blown, you know? And she dealt with... <laughs> And the director. <laughs> After he, he took out the sniper, right? He took out the sniper. And then he was picking people off from over there. But he's like, oh, no, there's too much. Too, too, too many bodies on the ground. Too much blood. I need to go clean up. And then he got down from the tower where he was. And just had a broom. <laughs> just <laughs> the blood and everything. I'm like, he was just, at one point, she was killing people and he was just following her with the broom. That was so funny. But, so, they dealt with all those people, right? And I love that scene too. <laughs> As she was dealing with all of them. And then you see an assassin be like, I'm strong with this. And then she's like, and this one who showed up, I'm strong with this. And, this, and it was just so funny the way they did it. And I love 
the fact that the fight and when they started fighting, the title of the episode, the symphony uh, upon the ship, right? There was the music playing in the background. You see her fighting. You see the fireworks. You see people on the on the ship enjoying themselves in the casino and everything. There was that one guy that was playing the slots or something or other like that. And when he won, he won at one point, right? He was so happy. And they, like, um, mixed that in with when, uh, what was it? Like, the fire was going, and then there was the, the, the killing was happening. Like, th- like, things were going well or something. And then there was the point where he lost, and they uh, mixed that in with, with, I think, um, like, an assassin, one of those assassins just sort of, like, uh, feeling the pain. I don't know. I just love the way they mix all those different elements together to create the symphony about, uh, upon the ship. So that was really cool. So after she dealt with all of those people, and then you see the one that could smell, smells them, you know, he's the one that I was able to figure out after the change that this guy is, who they were after and told the others, right? And they, they were waiting for them. When he showed up and he's like, you kill all those people and all of that. Then I started taking it to myself. I believe I said it during the reaction that, excuse me, did they show us all of this? Like how strong she is? for us to gauge the strength of the people that she's gonna be facing like now you know the guy with the glasses and that one with the sword and the slippers and all of that show us how strong these people are you know compare the strength power scaling i think it's called um and yeah i think that's what it was you know so that when you you show us how strong she is. She defeated all those people. And then these dudes showed up. So you start feeling sort of like worried for her. Especially when she was saying stuff like her legs were heavy. Like the guy's hits were hitting her. You know. All these different places. She felt heavy. She couldn't move. Like she wanted to move. And then she started thinking. Especially after the guy. um, The glasses guy said that they were basically doing the same thing like he's doing this for money and she's also doing it for money and then she started thinking about what exactly are her reasons for killing you know and she started going through that she's uh, uh, at one point when she the guy hit him like really hard and she would just like hit the wall and was just like on the floor and i'm like oh my god she broke something because that that hit it felt really really strong you know and then she was there and then she's like basically if i if i die now it will be okay i won't have to do all these things i won't have to do all these things and i'm thinking okay when she started thinking why exactly am i doing this and i'm thinking okay yeah probably we have something to do with i was thinking anya anya in particular her family but then it went back to her brother which makes so much more sense than what i was thinking because she started doing this at a very young age anya and lloyd were not part of the picture at all she didn't know them so the only person in her life at that point was her brother and he she started doing all of this to basically make life easier and more peaceful for her. I think that's it clicked when um the guy with the glasses was gonna go after Olka and then she threw her one of her things at him to stop him. And then she she started thinking, okay, why did I even stop the guy? Why am I protecting Olka? And then she remembered um Olka wanted to live a peaceful life, you know, with her son. And that's what led her to think about what she actually wanted in the beginning. When it came to um, Yuri, you know, having him live a peaceful and pleasant life. And she feels like there's there's a whole bunch of unnecessary violence, things happening in the world that makes life hard for people. So she feels like if she can eliminate that 
from the world then her brother is gonna be living a more pleasant life you know happy life so that's what pushed her to do this and her remembering that is what gave her the strength to start fighting back against this dude so yeah she started fighting back at that particular moment they haven't actually dealt with she hasn't there are still assassins around right they're not done with the situation yet so let's we'll see how that's gonna go in the next episode and i couldn't help but remember as i was watching her fight and everything that at one point i had i think it was after the episode of um them playing this game at this um castle you know when lloyd called in spy people to make this uh bond made the reality the, the show uh, in real life and uh yor was the sorceress or something or other i don't know she was playing that role but then she was drunk and then there was a fight that started happening between them and then she slipped because she was drunk and everything and i had put out a poll about who will win <laughs> in a fight between Lloyd and uh, Yor. And it was the majority was Yor. And this episode proves it. As she was killing all these people, I'm like, Lloyd, do not. <laughs> Lloyd would die. She would crush Lloyd. And she would crush him. Oh my goodness. I couldn't help but be reminded of that as she was doing all these things. And I was just like. <sighs> and then at the end there. Um, when the, I thought when the um, when I noticed that there was going to be a scene after the credits and everything, I thought they were going to go maybe to Lloyd and uh, Anya because Anya was looking for um your right she was just using her telepathy to look for your and everything and i thought with the fireworks having died down and everything and she probably would still be looking for her right so i was thinking maybe they're gonna show us them and maybe them discovering something i don't know but that wasn't what it was it was yuri they were i guess chasing this criminal but then <laughs> he got cold and then he started remembering when he was a little kid how um you all will be taking care of him make made this herbal tea that of course was gonna taste absolutely horrible gave it to him and <laughs> The taste of it made him feel <laughs> better. He forgot about his cold because that taste was just that. Ah. And he asked his um, co-worker to bring him a medicine that basically tasted similar to what you all used to make. <laughs> he was pretty... <laughs> How do you get... I don't know. But just I just love the love that's between these brother and sister you know it's really endearing and uh, what else was i gonna say uh-huh when you finally figured out why she's doing what she's doing and then she's like she doesn't care if she gets all these cuts and bruises like she's these uh what's the word i'm looking for i don't know whatever let's just go with custom bruises uh with these custom bruises that are gonna show to when lloyd and anya see it they're gonna be like how do you did you get all these things and the director had previously told her that if she was to get injured so badly then they would just tell the forgers that she moved away someplace or other and she wouldn't be making contact with them basically the that family will be over right and she's like she doesn't care now if they know because she knows that lloyd will understand her based on what he said when they had camilla was it i think it was camilla when camilla was organizing that party and you're invited um lloyd i believe it was the first episode that they met when they introduced on uh, yours character 
and he was also going on a mission he got injured so he was late then he showed up and Camila was trying to embarrass her and Lloyd said during the um party that he was proud of the work that she was doing and everything it was based off of that that she's like she un she feels that Lloyd would understand her and yes she would because she's doing all this to create a better peaceful world for her brother and for everybody else and that's basically what um Lloyd is also doing being a spy he wants to create a better world where kids won't have to cry and everything and that's they're basically doing the same thing just he's on the west <laughs> she's in the east <laughs> She's an assassin and he's a spy. So it's like they both basically have the same um, motivations. Just doing, you know, different jobs. <laughs> Trying to accomplish the same thing. So, of course, he will understand. I just don't. Something tells me that this is not going to be what makes Lloyd know who she is like what she does you know the fact that she's an assassin i don't think this is what's gonna lead him to know that i don't know i don't think the secret is gonna be revealed after this so i'm just trying to imagine what at what point in the future when are they gonna know what each other does i don't know guess we'll see thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you want to see my reaction to the next episode you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full length of this reaction there as well so thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye if you're impressed imagine how i feel mom welcome to the family madrigal the home of the family madrigal